Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is too far all Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe Yo, 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 Michael here, 250 Gemstones Exchange. This is where I give you guys great content. And in exchange, you guys have a like, comment, or subscribe. Hopefully, all three of the above. And don't be afraid to share my videos. Pass me around, pass me around. Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. If you'd like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign Michael US. Also, check out the website, 250gemstones.com.co. Y'all stay and watch the whole video because we need to talk. A lot of people are surprised on why the world's going crazy. A lot of people are surprised why the, the youngsters are going crazy. Adults are going crazy. Mama and them going crazy. Kids got guns. Teachers got guns. Parents got guns. Gangs got guns. Law abiding citizens got guns. Everybody got guns. It ain't the guns. It's lack of direction in this damn country. It is the overall, this is what the government wants. Black, Asian, Middle Eastern, whatever ethnic group you are, Russian. Talking about the Americans. This is what you get when the government raised our children. This is what you get when the government take out God out of school. This is what you get when you got drag queens teaching little boys to put on mascara. This is what you get when you literally starve the American men to where they have to break the law to get some damn money. This is what happens when the government forces a nation to go into debt, school, student loan, home loan, personal loan, car loan. Add it up. Do the numbers. See, over here, we do the numbers over here. Home for your family, 300 k Go to a decent school, 65000 365000 that you got to call for. We even get to the cars. We even get to the kids. We even get to your day-to-day -day bills. This is what you get when you tell kids that something's wrong with God. There ain't nothing wrong with the LGBTQ. There ain't nothing wrong with joining gang. They, I don't see a lot of anti-gang movements from the government really crack down. And I'm not cracking down talking about mass incarceration. Crack down and give these areas attention. You got to get these areas attention. The government, and y'all seen it with the black community. Now look like it's happening in all communities. Latino community, they are locking up the men so they can control the woman. No real nigga is behind their son dressing like a, a girl, their girl dressing like a boy. When the father's in the home, their structure, the government doesn't want that. The government does not want fathers in the homes, especially if you if you a father and you are with God or you're trying to get with God. If you're a father, you have good intentions, you love to build, such spiritually, psychologically, physically build, emotionally build yourself up and build up all of these aspects in your family's life, you are a problem. If you if you a man, let's say, let's say 15 and up, you a problem. If you're a man and you love women, you a problem. You have structure in your soul, you a problem. You love God, you a problem. You're trying to get the bag. You're trying to get some of that money. You're a problem. You defend yourself against the crazies. They're trying to, They're well, in California, they have laws. So if somebody break into your house, the only way uh, you can get away with it, it has to be shot in the front. The bullet wounds have to be in the front. But if he turns around, you can't shoot him because he's no longer a threat. He still is a threat, you jackass, because he just broke into my home. Everything's geared to destroy everything that's masculine. Fellas of all ethnic groups, y'all better man up. Your manhood is the most precious. It's the most valuable thing you own right now. They, they destroy, they destroy, excuse me, they destroy our children and come back 
and try to be the hero where we're going to clean up the neighborhood. Bitch, you destroy the neighborhood. How do you destroy the neighborhood with all of your indoct indoctrinations, with all of your tactics, lack of uh, resources, giving other countries billions of freaking dollars, $100 billion to Ukraine, and American children are running wild, no structure. Give them us uh, uh, recreational centers. Let's build some more basketball courts. Arts and crab. Let's get, the kids have a lot of energy. They have a lot of ideas, but they were so restrained. So they looking like, well, ain't nothing else to do but shoot people. Ain't, ain't. There's nothing. A lot of these places in America, in the ghettos, there's nothing for the youngsters to do. And the government knows that because they don't want anything. They don't want the kids to do positive stuff. So this is why when I see police jacking up them kids when i see police jacking up adults the adults ain't got nothing the kids ain't got nothing everybody just walking around frustrated everybody walking around frustrated with guns this is what they want so they can fill those prison systems and they can control the population especially for black folk they want to control the population they want to, they want to keep us at 13 percent. now me personally i think our population is way higher than 13 percent because there's niggas everywhere there are black folks everywhere. There are Negroes everywhere in the country, rural areas, in the city. But that, that's an argument for another day. The audacity to try to crack down on the crime and you were the, the main catalyst to creating the crime. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Who bears most of the responsibility? Government? Parents or both? I'm going. Some breaking news on Indy's South Side a deadly shooting at a steak and shake restaurant that left one man dead and three others hurt. Let's get out to our Samantha Johnson, who is live this morning working on any details that we learned overnight. What can you tell us, Samantha? Well, Julia and Julia, we got to the scene just a few minutes ago, and this is still an active investigation yeah, here. This shooting happened about five hours ago, but if you take a look at what's going on here, us. Kelly, thank you. And now there's some breaking news on Indy's South Side, a deadly shooting at a steak and shake restaurant that left one man dead and three others hurt. Let's get out to our Samantha Johnson, who is live this morning working on any man. details that we learned overnight. What can you tell us, Samantha? Well, Julia and Julia, we got to the scene just a few minutes ago, and this is still an active investigation here. This shooting happened about five hours ago, but if you take a look at what's going on here behind us, detectives are still focusing much of their attention into the middle section here between the Steak and Shake and this BP gas station. There are dozens of crime scene markers still on the ground here. In fact, just moments ago, we saw crime lab members inside that restaurant still conducting investigations here at this scene. As we mentioned, the shooting was about five hours ago. We know police were called to this restaurant just before 1130 last night. That's about 30 minutes before this restaurant was set to close. Now, this is the location on Southeast Street, close oh, to Hannah Avenue. Up. We are just a few blocks west of Uindy. We talked to Metro Police here at the scene last night who say all four people shot were young men. It's not clear if or how they knew each other, but police tell us when officers got to the restaurant, one man was found outside in the parking lot. He died at the scene, according to police. We're told three other men also shot when inside. What's going on? This is what happens. This is what happens when the government takes away God out of society and replaces it with the damn flag. This is what happens when the government deliberately starves his own damn people the poverty rate is through the roof right now where is the war on hunger go to them grocery stores they always having like uh, uh like donations for feed the hunger or stop the hunger or war on hunger for america people living paycheck to paycheck barely making it barely making it this is what happens when you send all our money overseas hundreds and billions of dollars to countries who can't stand us. This is what happens when you put chemicals in the food. This is what happens when you come up with indoctrinations to separate mother and fathers. You break up homes, incentivize women being alone so they have to worry about the day-to-day -day pressure all on their own. This is what happens when the government pushes for mass incarceration, giving people crazy amount of time 
for crimes that don't deem that. This is what happens when the government is corrupt. This is what happens when Congress is corrupt. Y'all better get y'all families together. Keep these people out y'all business. I to get help. Our agency will not stand for this. You know, our agency will do everything in their power uh, to uh, the to bring whoever is involved in this to justice. Curbing violent crime is the is the number one focus of our agency, and in the city of Indianapolis will not stand for this. Now, at this point in the investigation, oh, police believe this shooting happened in the parking lot, but they have not yet released any kind of suspect information or motive in this case. As we know right now, detectives are still here at the scene working through evidence. Devil is working hard, y'all. Trust me. ...and security video. Plus, police here say there were witnesses, people inside that restaurant when that shooting happened. So we will be following up with IMPD again this morning as this investigation continues. Plus, we're also reaching out to Steak and Shake to see if they plan to reopen on time this morning at 10 o'clock. Julia and Julia, we can tell you those... Right.